Mom, you're gonna have to take over the vlog. There's how many black people here? Rapper or artist? This is so weird. Somebody help this child. Four stays back. Alrighty, guys. I am not bald. I just got cornrows. Just wanna let y'all know. Yeah, so the reason why I got cornrows is because I won't be able to be taking care of my hair for a little bit. Let's get to the point of this video. Your boy is going to be out for four to six months. I do not know if I will be able to make it back during this season, but we have a great training staff and we have great people around me that's gonna help me try and get back. We found out after the season, about two to three months later, we tried a bunch of like rehab on my hip and I played through the whole season with it. It was tough, so we thought it was a strain for the longest time. There was a lot of clicking, a lot of stuff that was going on in my hip that didn't feel right. If I would have known I had this injury, I still would have played throughout the season with it, but obviously my long-term health it wouldn't be it wouldn't be good for me I did tear my labrum guys um, I tore it in fall camp I'm almost a hundred percent certain I did I popped it in fall camp and I sat out for one practice and then we had like two days off from our practices it was after we went all the way to Jacksonville to do practice then we got some shots to make myself feel a little bit better we thought that would help with my hip and the injections and all that stuff like that moral of the story was is I I decided to play throughout the season with it thinking it was a hip strain most of the time uh, we had another doctor check me out and the doctor said has anyone checked if he had a labrum tear and we went to go check if I had a labrum tear and I ended up having a labrum tear in my left hip. Surgery will be taking place actually on Tuesday. So I'm gonna take you guys with me actually. So I'm kind of sitting you guys down real quick to explain the story because I feel like y'all don't really know the story. Yeah, I was toughing it out through the whole season. It, it was tough, but football, football's football, man. If you love football, you're gonna, you're gonna get through a lot of things that you don't wanna get through because it's your livelihood. So um, I knew there was something wrong because I could never lift my leg up the way I wanted to during the whole season. Tell yourself you're okay and you trick your brain and you say, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Knowing you're not okay, but I was able to trick myself to get through that whole season and say I was okay. I had my moment of being upset for that one day and then you gotta think of it, man, it's God's plan, whatever it is. Like, I'm grateful to be alive, I'm grateful to be breathing, eating, sleeping, still awake, still got both my legs, I'm still blessed and it sucks. It sucks because I, I would love to be out there with my teammates. I'm hoping I can make it back for the season. It's really up to my body and how I attack rehab and like I said we have a great training staff with Slick, Alicia, Tyler, Taylor, Dr. Scott. I mean we have we have great people that are going to be backing me up so I'm not really worried about it and I'm going to attack the rehab. I got great coaches that are going to help me stay in shape, keep my body strong and all those things so I wanted to let you guys know first because I show you guys a lot of the good in college football and this will be my third surgery as a as a college athlete that's just the reality of football I've kind of got the short end of the stick with with football um, broke my arm broke my collarbone and now I have a torn labor room in my hip so at the end of the day it's what comes with the game I've saw my I've seen my dad I've seen my brother they've gone through surgeries themselves and they always persevered and pushed through it so there's no reason why I can't you know just gotta smile through it enjoy the time because being negative and being a Debbie Downer about the situation is not gonna improve the situation or stop the situation from happening like I said I had my one day and that's it and kind of threw it behind me so I've known for about three days by the time this video comes out I will be done with surgery. I will be already rehabbing, trying to get my body right. So this is what we're going to do since I may not be able to be back for the season. We're going to do a road to recovery. You guys that have been staying up to date on my collegiate career, man, I appreciate you guys. I know I haven't been the best at posting every single week, but I do try my best. And the people that have been staying up to date that's been with me since Oregon, and or if you're new FSU fans, I appreciate you too. You guys are awesome, and FSU fans are absolutely amazing. You guys are ride or dies, and I can't appreciate you guys enough. I get noticed everywhere I go. Like, I can't even go sit to eat without being Noticed. My waiter knew who I was. When I go to church, they know who I am. But it's awesome, man. I really do appreciate you guys and the love that you guys show me into this YouTube channel. It means the world to me and I'm appreciative. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna go get surgery in Colorado. This doctor is a very good doctor. He's a specialist in the hip thing. I, you know, it's kind of above my pay grade. I just 
catch football and, and score touchdowns. So I know he's a really good doctor. He's done Brandon Marshall's and a couple other big name guys that have torn their labrum in their hip. I'm very grateful for him taking me in as soon as he could after he found out I tore my labrum. So I can't wait to attack rehab and take you guys with me. We're gonna do this thing. And do not forget, don't forget guys, we do still have a PS5 giveaway at 80,000 subscribers. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and comment done on the bottom of the comment section on YouTube. That's all you gotta do. And you can get a PS5. If you want us to get to 80,000, share the video with somebody and tell them to subscribe. We're gonna go to Colorado. You guys stick with me. Help me remain positive. Like I said, God's plan, not mine. I, I don't see the plan right now, but you know we're gonna stick with it and we're gonna be grateful for another day of life and another day of opportunity. So with that being said, let's go to the airport. Okay, it is currently five in the morning. My Uber is just getting here. And it's time to go outside. Get ready for some surgery, guys. It's crazy. Never had a lower body surgery. And nor did I think I could play through a whole season with the torn labrum. Showed me how tough I am. But let's go to the Uber. Just made it to the airport. It's like 5.15 in the morning. So I'm putting the camera away. I appreciate you guys watching, keeping up to date. But next time I pull this out, I'll be in Colorado. I'm staying in Vail, Colorado. A little of Colorado, this looks really nice. And then here's my hotel before I go head out and get surgery. So my mom's gonna be staying there and I'm gonna be staying here. It's really pretty out here, man. You Colorado people, Colorado, that's a good word. Yeah, I'm updating you guys. I'm gonna get everything settled in because I'm gonna be here till Friday. Probably after surgery is when we'll wrap up the video. Mom, you're gonna have to take over the vlog. You think you can do that for me? I don't know, I'm not really a videographer, so. Okay, well all you gotta do is record me after I get surgery, so there you go. We'll try. It's time to wake up, mother. My awesome, sweet mother. It's time to get up. Yes, it is. Where's the light at? Good morning, mom. It is morning, guys, the next morning. And this is what it looks like. We're staying in a really nice hotel, though. It looks really pretty this morning. You know, the wonderful sun. Oh my gosh, yo, why do I look so pale? Let me get. Because you're half white. No, not half white. I'm full breed. I'm full breed black, baby. I'm black. No, okay, she... Basically, I got my mom breakfast because I'm a great son. She's deciding to sleep in still because she doesn't want to be great today. I, I want to be great today, I but she doesn't want to be great sleep. today. It's a 4 a.m. I got my mother some nice French toast. I got her some eggs. Check the breakfast out. These are all my documents. These two discs right here is what shows my torn labrum in my hip. Tear your labrum in your hip. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Whenever my mom wakes up, I can show you guys around this cool place because I don't want to go by myself and it's really cold. Like, really, really cold. I guess it's five degrees outside, so it's too cold. Me and Madre, we're about to go on this gondola. She's making me take her out on a date. I yeah. mean, if you can spend money on other people, then you can spend money on mom. Just kidding. She's I'll not. I'll be paying for it. She's not kidding, but... <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to be going on a gondola. I've never been on a gondola, guys. So you guys will be with me on the first time ever. Then I got my appointment at two. It's currently 11:44. Finally got my mom out of bed. Took her three hours. Dude, I didn't go to sleep until four o'clock in the morning. I need y'all to know what he did to me yesterday. He forgot oh his entire file of medical records and the MRI images in Tallahassee. So when he got to Dallas, he messaged me panicking as I'm getting ready to board my flight to Vail, saying, Mom, oh my God, I'm low key freaking out. I left my entire file and the images and everything that they told me I needed for my appointment at home. So what does mom do? Mom has to rush over to a different flight. This is a lie. Oh. Get on a flight from Atlanta to Ta Mind you, I had already flown on a red eye from Phoenix to Atlanta. All right, had all right, to sit right. for four hours. All right, all right, mother. And then got on a flight to Tallahassee to get bumped off every other flight 
I got on the very last flight out of Tallahassee. I spent nine hours in the airport. Okay, yes. Yeah. Then, um, oh no, we're, we're not we're, done yet. Okay. We're not done yet. So then I get on the last flight to Atlanta. Then I had to get on another flight here. from Atlanta to Denver. And then I had to drive from Denver to Vail. Thank you for your story, Mother. It's much appreciated. 28 hours I was traveling and awake in an airport or yeah, on an yeah. airplane because you forgot something. All right, so. Shout out to Coach Guy no. for bringing the mother records. Give me the. All right, we're going, and it's time for me to log out. See all the nice snow for all you Floridians. Floridians. Floridians, Floridians. <laughs> Look at that. This looks like an alien planet for people in Florida. But it's real. My mom doesn't really know how to drive, but I decided to let her drive today. You know, old people. Yo, FSU, I should have stayed in here. Oh, this is nice then. Condos. <laughs> oh, the condos? Yes, that's a hotel. The snow looks like fake. You want to go jump in it? No. You should go do a snowman. Nope. A snow angel. Not doing it. Won't do it. We'll do a snow devil then. about to eat so see you guys after it's time to meet with doc and you know I could never be a doctor looking at another person knowing what's inside them is just kind of gross so Shout out to the doctors that can do that. You're kind of sick, but you know, it is what it is. I'm just, y'all make a lot of money. I'm just trying to like, maybe own a portion of your house. Maybe that'll be cool. Oh, there's all going? my stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna get y'all set up for this. Answering a bunch of questions about my symptoms with my hip that honestly I thought were never really a problem because I was so used to it in my life. And then when they asked me these questions. So this has been going on since last summer, right? Yes. So I felt a pop originally in fall camp of last year. Okay. I think I was running a route or something. Okay. And I told them I kept yeah. feeling like clicking in my hip. Yeah. They were thinking it was a strain for the longest time. And you've been doing PT too? Yeah, I've been doing a bunch of a bunch of that. Well, I'm gonna get you set up for this stuff. Okay. So this is the brace you're gonna have after surgery. Basically, it's gonna lock you. You're not gonna be able to extend your hip, okay. but you're gonna be able to flex it up like this. You'll have a full protocol afterwards that'll explain everything Basically, all you need to know, do you want to stand it up for me yeah. for a sec? You feel this bone right here? Yeah. So that is the spot that this is going to go over. So these are Mobileg stretches, is what they're called. Okay. We usually recommend them for our patients because they're a little bit more ergonomic. It yeah. makes it a little bit easier to use. Yeah. And they also kind of bow out a little bit, so it goes around the brace on your hip, so you're not clunking into your brace every time you try to walk. Makes sense. Like you yeah. a rapper or no, an no, no. artist or something? No, I'm just a regular football player that, just a show, football that player. shows people around with my day and then they like it. What do you got going on here? Yeah, it's a nice little shorts. Nice. Yeah, appreciate you. Um, let's go ahead and put your head down. Okay. Okay. Have a quick leg length measurement. The red button. I did that, but I didn't. Oh, this button. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Freakishly strong hamstrings. Right. Remember when you did that test at Oregon? They're all right. <laughs> They're all right. Uh, as deep as I can go. That, how's that? I mean, yeah. I it, very tentative. The goal is like 60 to 70 degrees. Receivers. I've been in plenty of receivers. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, that'll do it for me. Okay, awesome. Basically, this graph is showing your right sided strength, which is the green columns, okay. compared to the blue, which is your left. So, like your hip flexor, the very first one that we did, yeah. you know, technically you're 50% as strong on that side. If you uh -huh. look over here at the columns, these are the percent deficits right to left. So, some things I, I'm still so strong on. There's some that are equal. 
All right, I took my things out my, in my hair because it was hanging out and it wasn't looking good. I'm not supposed to put any hair products. I'm not supposed to put on deodorant. I'm not supposed to do anything. Let's go get this surgery. We're about to check in. My mom's probably gonna take over here soon from her perspective, cause I'm gonna be under the knife, obviously. I got my laptop, got chargers, cause I have to spend the night in the hotel, so. Going in there musty, stinky, but you know, we're gonna come out positive, we're gonna come out feeling good, you know, so. I'm just excited to get my hip finally back and feeling good again. But I'm in really good hands, this doctor's, Done surgeries on Tom Brady, Gronkowski, all these big name guys. Let's go. Guys, look how tall my mom looks. So this is how tall I am. And this is what my mom looks like if you were my height. So this is what she looks like to me. Like a little midget. I am not a midget. How tall are you, mom? You tell five, them. Seven. I give you like five, six and a half. Five, six and a half, MJ. Whatever floats your boat. Okay. Money lady yeah. right there. What are you doing? Those are real too. I just thought I'd let y'all know. I feel like out of place. There's all these skiers here and I'm just like, uh, and there's not many black people here. My mom said she saw the black dude. I didn't see him. But you know, it's always the white people that can find the black guy. But hey, I get away with saying this because I'm half black and half white, thankfully. I can't be racist. I'm both of you guys, you know what I'm saying? I go on rants. My rants are like my way of forming that I'm okay, even though I'm no, I'm not okay. Hello darkness, my old friend. We didn't bring the paperwork. I brought it all. Oh. This is my view every morning. It's not bad. Ah, and this is where my hip is going to be cut open and bone shredded and tendons moved. All in here. Got the off whites on no matter what. We're teaching mom how to work the camera right now. Now I'm doing this like nose thing. Oh wow. This smells kind of weird. Oh my goodness, oh. I'm gonna stop filming, I no, need to help him. This is a nose um, sanitizer that'll help prevent MRSA. So I gotta do this with three. All of three them. of them. Are you sure it's like on me? It just looks low, my bad. So I gotta do three of these. Here's my gown, and here's my socks. So I get a free pair of socks. Oh, Check me out. They're definitely not free, you will get charged, don't worry. All the way up. All the way in it. Okay. Like I'm deep. Get your head out of the gutter, John B. This is so weird. You want to try? It? No, try I'm, I'm good. Gross. Oh, all right, guys. So now, this is what you have to do before surgery. You have to clean your body. You see that, mom? I'm cleaning myself. One wipe for both arms. You're not doing your chest yet. Just your arm. Okay. You he doesn't bro? know how to follow directions very well. You're such a boy. You're not listening. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll do I the have chest to stop filming no, no, because I have to I, help him. Yeah, I got it. You don't oh my need to god, help me. somebody help this child, please. I'm cleaning myself. Alright guys, I'll see you guys after I get done cleaning myself. So we're just gonna get things set up for surgery, talk about a little bit about the uh, case and just answer any questions you might have. Okay. So there are 27 muscles that cross the hip joint. Okay. And when something's wrong inside of the joint, yeah. those muscles start firing or in inappropriately or apparently. So you're not like jumping off the table if I'm pushing you right uh, here. I feel it though, but not. Uh, okay. All right, so you definitely got it. Looked at your MRI. You know, definitely have a big labral tear. Yeah. Uh, and you have the bump on that femoral head neck junction, the cam bump. Did they show you any of your x rays or MRI or anything yeah, they yesterday? Showed, yeah, they showed me. Okay. Hey, brother. Come in. Wait, hold on. I'm, you're on speaker. Don't oh, say anything to dad. We're fine. Don't say. Okay, okay. Uh, don't say you anything to dad. Veil. Veil. What is the EKG? Electrocardiogram. Electrocardiogram. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like tattoos, mom? Why are you asking me if I like your tattoos? You already you know never, the answer you to never that. Told me you like that. That's a lie. Alright, so I'm gonna put stickers on your chest. It's called a 12 lead. Ooh, so I can see how healthy my heart is. Yeah. Mom, you wanna tell them what we're doing? You're getting your EKG done. Proud of you. Smarter than the average bear, son. Mike wants to be on it. Hello, brother. <laughs> yes. Mike is getting hip replacement because he's old. <laughs> That's not what's happening. They already know what's going on. Yeah, you're right. He has his gender reassignment surgery. <laughs> you're gonna come out with breast augmentation. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's not true, but I'm about to give him my IV right now. In a few minutes. Very, in a, a few bit, minutes. Yeah. Check me out. The hair started falling out of my cornrows. Yeah, no, your fake hair can fall out. Are you still getting your veneer done? Yeah. Unnecessary money. You have unnecessary money that you spend. 
you kill coyotes for no reason. I'm doing it for the farmers. It is good for the Do farmers. Do they pay you? Well, but they let me deer hunt. See. Yeah. Only my husband. Yeah. He's weird. I'm right. a fisher. Though. I can fish. I outfished him my first day. Do you fish. Fish? We're all pretty yeah. vascular. Oh, that's dope, though. Mm -hmm. Will Ferrell was there. You know how you Yeah, brother, but but we're also half white, so it's okay. He's got a really high pain tolerance. Not that he wants you to create pain, but. No. <laughs> I. Woo! Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh. All right, brother. <laughs> Alright, well I'm still going to put you right. at 2500 You get better with practice with okay. it. He's not being a good leader right now for you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to have to poke you unfortunately, my friend. Oh. This actually happens a lot with you. I'm so hungry too. I'm going to go get out of surgery and start it. How you feel, Mom? Ready? I mean, I don't like when you go under, but it is what it is. Nature of the beast. Only time in your life some woman will be shaving your leg. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is actually pretty nice. Where'd you guys get? I'm gonna go on Amazon. I know, and they're wet dry. Yep, yeah, appreciate the whole system. I see you, buddy. You talk to everybody in the fam. Mm -hmm. Talk to everybody. You guys are close. Huh? <laughs> yeah, everyone's pretty That's close. Nice. My brother got his surgery sneakily though. Remember? Yeah, he was like, I he was like I'm getting surgery tomorrow. We're like, what? <laughs> well, he's got Kiana too. Oh, they announced everyone on YouTube. My brother's having a boy. He's doing May. I know. Another May baby in the family. Hey, everybody. I got done with surgery and I'm awake. God is good all the time. Mom, say it with me. God is, is good all the time. The all the time, God is good. Is the microphone on? Yes. Amen. Yeah, I can't really feel my... I can't feel anything. But, but, I need you to go run me an awesome errand if you can. Mom, I know you've probably been stressing out. But, I need to get the SIM card. And I'm thinking I'm talking about so I can send it to all you guys. We'll do that tomorrow, maybe. Oh, today. It's already 7 p.m., so... It's 7? I was sleep for five hours? Son, you're gonna sleep a long time. Well, how are you, Mom? Are you okay? Stress. All right, say goodbye. All right. My food's here. All right, everyone. So Micah is out of surgery, and we just talked to the doctor. Doctor said the surgery went as expected and very well. He is in this crazy, what looks like a medieval time machine that's doing his extension and flexion for him slowly and in, in an ice compression machine and compression on his calves to keep him from getting blood clots. But he did really well. This is round number three yeah. for mom and Micah. Three surgeries down. Hopefully no more to go. He's doing good. We're going to let him do his little sign off here in just a minute. And then he starts physical therapy tomorrow already. Thank you to Dr. Philippon and his team awesome. and Thank all you. the doctors and surgeons who attended to my baby today. Made sure that he came out healthy and funny and happy as he normally does from anesthesia. Oh, yeah. So. Okay. It's time to say goodbye, guys. Sucks, man. Just want to play football. But it's what comes with life, so remain positive. But check me out here. I'm in uh, this crazy thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't know I was doing all this. <laughs> Hopefully, everything goes well. They found out my labor room was actually completely torn. And then why it looks like it was partially torn. But once they got in, Doc said it was uh, completely torn and that it was really just bone on bone and stuff like that. So um, yeah, he helped me out, shaved it down, gave me like a, a not a new labor room, but something that can work like a labor room. Surgery took a little bit longer because once he found out it was completely torn. So it took two hours. Appreciate you guys watching this video, man. Seriously, you guys mean a lot to me. And Look, 80,000 subscribers, we get a free PS5 to a lucky person, which will be awesome to give back to you guys. You guys show me so much support. This is the tough side of football. Yeah, tough side of football. You got to be strong mentally, seriously, because it's, it's really hard 
for me sometimes. Hopefully I can make it back for LSU and that'll be a great time because I know those guys have, have a great team and a lot of people are going to be watching because Florida State's back. So I'll see you guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Peace.